and how to implement some basic practicals, some basic styles. Hello everyone, what's up and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be covering some basic practical front-end skills in Mendix. I'll be covering how to create a new style sheet, how to import that style sheet into your main.scss and using it to create some basic styles. There's a lot to cover, so let's get going. So first off, to create a new style sheet, we need to expand the styling section in our App Explorer. And next, I'm going to expand web. And here you can see my main.scss. Now to create a new style sheet, we just have to click on this parent uh, web, or you can put it anywhere if you want, but it's going to work best here. I'm going to say add a CSS file. Now you need to give it a name. So I'm just going to call this home. And that is all you need to do to create a new file. So we have a new style sheet. We need to make sure that this is imported into our main.scss now. So I'm going to come to main and I'm going to add a line here at the top and it's going to be at import and then open quotes and then your style sheet name. So mine is just home. Now you don't need to provide any .scss extension. It knows already that this is a style sheet. Um, and we also don't have to put any file path so long as it's in the same folder as the main file. We do need to add a semicolon just to close that off and it should all just work. Now we need to actually test and see if this has all worked. Now a quick way of doing this is just to cut all of these styles that I already have and these are all for the home page anyway so I'm going to put them in here and I'm going to save my project. And if I rerun and the styles are there, then it's worked. So I can open my page and you can still see the styles are implemented. So even if I reload, yes, it's not cached. So it has worked and we have successfully created a new style sheet. There's only one issue. I don't like that it's loading this chat window upside down. The messages are loading from the top down. I would like them to load from the bottom up. And that's pretty easy to do. We can do that with a simple CSS class. For this to work, we have a container surrounding the list view. That container has a CSS class on it. And then all we need to do is go into our home.scss. So this is the class I have created for that already. And it has some basic styles. There's some sizing and um, overflow and all that kind of stuff. But all you need to do to get the list to reverse is to say display flex. And then you need to add flex direction and column reverse. So now that that's done, I can rerun my app for a final time and see if it has corrected it. You can see now the messages are populating from the bottom up and it just looks a bit more clean. I hope you enjoyed these simple styling basics. That's all for now. Until next time, I'm Ryan Mocky, and this is Hello Index.